What's going on guys? So today we're gonna teach you how to reduce elbow pain while doing a skull crusher, but still build those huge triceps. Let's jump into it. All right guys, a ton of people will avoid the skull crushers altogether because the common things I'll, I'll hear and common things I've also experienced are wrist pain and elbow pain when performing this exercise. Those are two pains you definitely don't want. So uh, I really recommend utilizing this exercise despite the pain. And the best way to do that is to avoid its negative tendencies. The tendencies come from using easy bars and straight bars. The issue here, your arm's gonna be in a locked position, guys. This is what is natural to the body. It's gonna force it to move in a weird way and really strain out those elbows and wrists. Alternatively, if you're using a dumbbell, you get a natural path of motion because you can move left, right, it can go inward, outward, and you're also gonna get the benefit of isolating each arm individually. Saying so, a ton of people still do this wrong, so we're gonna show you three common mistakes we see and how to fix them. Common mistake number one I see is a lot of people are performing half reps. The reason we're doing this is to be able to also get a full range of motion. The dumbbells are free moving. You're able to get a nice squeeze, go all the way down and then all the way up. You shouldn't be doing just a quarter or a half rep. You're only gonna be building half the tricep. You're only getting half out of the exercise. So make sure to do a full range of motion and use, you know, get the most out of this exercise. Mistake number two guys is gonna be a two-parter and I bet you this is something you were doing wrong yourself. I made this mistake early on and I know a lot of people who don't know how to do this exercise are doing this even when they think they know how to do this exercise. So first things first, you want to extend and lock out your tricep. However, you don't want to overextend your elbow and kind of force a ton of tension onto the joint there that will cause a lot of problems and that's why a lot of people are getting that pain. This can still happen with the dumbbell. So if you're extending here and extending past to the elbow, that's bad. However, a full contraction can still be achieved without completely locking out that elbow. So keep the tension on the tricep, not on the elbow. The second part to this is, when you're lying down, you want to make sure you actually have a good start and end position. A lot of people are doing this wrong, because what they'll do is they'll have their arms straight up above them, and therefore the dumbbell is pushing straight down, that's putting the tension on your shoulder, not on your tricep. You need to have some hang, so I recommend being a little bit behind, and that's going to keep the tension tight here. Whereas you're here, it's a straight line of tension down to the shoulder, you're not actually going to be getting everything you want to get, and then it's going to have that awkward straight position. You want to make sure you have a little bit of hang, so you're starting maybe 10 to 20 degrees away from straight, that's going to put some of that tension onto that tricep automatically, extend down, explode up, without locking up that tricep you're stopping just before. Common mistake number three is too much arm movement. I see this way too often, guys. The goal of this exercise is to isolate the actual tricep. People are literally just swinging their arms back and forth. They're not putting any tension on the tricep, therefore they're not really doing much within this exercise. So really put a focus on keeping it in a stable position, getting a nice squeeze at the top, all the way down, repeat. Okay, so with the easy bar, guys, I can use about 120 to 140 pounds pretty comfortably. However, that's not gonna be the case with dumbbells. Normally I use about 40 to 45. You want a weight you can control and a weight that's best for you. And definitely when you're starting out, start lighter. So you're gonna start as usual with your kick back, throw it back, start by posturing that back. Now here, this is not the position you wanna be in. This is a dead position. Like I said, tip number two, there's no tension on my tricep right now. So you wanna make sure we're maintaining tension on that tricep at all times. So I can achieve that by going backward ever so slightly 10 to 20 degrees collapsing by feeling it in my tricep, nice and low. And the beauty with the dumbbells is you can go past the skull. And so for me, I have long arms, so I get a good contraction to about here, explode up without locking those elbows. Boom, explode. Explode. Even better yet, if you want to throw in some changes, you can do some variations. Inward. Or outward. And that's how you master this exercise to get some huge arms. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, please subscribe and make sure you grab that free personal trainer in your pocket form book we got. That's the first link in the description down below. See you in the next one.